looking at the TB6612FNG motor drivers and the connections to the Arduino Nano. So it's just a, a look at the pinouts and the connections. So this is a general overview stroke specification sheet on what the motor drivers actually do. So if you want to read through just pause the video for a minute. Looking at the reverse side now we can see the terminal markings and uh, we're going to use these terminals to connect to the Arduino Nano. This Nano is the 5 volt unsoldered version so there's no header pins pre-soldered onto the board. The IO pin configurations or the in-out pin configurations are determined on the Arduino IDE when writing the sketch. So we'll look into the sketch in a bit more detail a bit further along but for now we're looking for a schematic diagram to actually link the Arduino up to the motor driver boards. All the boards need power and the power is delivered from the power distribution board. So the first connections that we're making is the ground connections followed by the battery power connections. We're going to be using a 2 cell LiPo uh, 8.4 volts so 8.4 volts is supplied to the V-in connection on the Arduino and the VM connections on the motor drivers and we connect 5 volts from the distribution board and connect them onto the VCC terminals on the motor drivers and this powers the chips so it's what we call the logic voltage the 5 volts for the nano is supplied via the onboard voltage regulator on the nano. The standby connections are hardwired across to the 5 volt VCC connections and this enables the chips as soon as the power is applied to the 5 volt circuit. Now that the power supply is connected up to the boards we can start connecting the motor drivers up to the Nano. So in this instance uh, channel 2 is going to be for the land drive motors so there's four of those to connect. Um, channel 3 will be for the boom lift and channel 4 will be for the boom extend motor. So each motor requires a three wire circuit between the nano and the motor driver. So the first connection that we're going to make is from D2, so that's a digital pin 2 and connected to A in 1 on the motor driver. D3, which is a PWM assigned pin connects to the PWMA on the motor driver and digital pin D4 is connected to A in 2 to the motor driver and that completes the three wire circuit for channel 2 which will connect to the land drive motors. D5 which is a PWM assigned pin connects to PWMB for the next motor driver and that is for channel 3 which is the boom lift motor. D7 which is a digital pin connects to B in 2 on the motor driver. D8 digital pin connects to B in 1 on the motor driver and that completes the 3 wire circuit for channel 3. Next we have channel 4 which will be the boom extend motor so we connect D6 
which is a PWM assigned pin to PWMA on the motor driver A0 which is reassigned as a digital pin so it's now called D14 digital pin 14 connects onto A in 1 on the motor driver A1 which is reassigned as D15 digital pin connects to A in 2 on the motor driver for channel 4 so that completes the 9 wire circuit between the Arduino Nano and the motor drivers and that just leaves us the connections for the motors the boom extend motor is connected across AO1 and AO2 so that is channel 4 the boom lift motor is connected to BO2 and BO1 so that is channel 3 and finally four land drive motors are connected all in parallel and they are connected across AO1 and AO2 on the second motor driver the part B section of this motor driver is left spare so there we are that's the uh, schematic diagram linking the Arduino Nano to the motor driver boards okay just to finish this episode I'll leave an image of the Nano pinouts uh, next time round we'll be looking into JST and DuPont connectors and start physically wiring up and uh, completing the next layer. See you soon. Thank you.